Light Check, Diagnostic Technology for Vehicle Safety. This brief demonstration features the Light Check Model 801M test station, the standard for diagnostic testing for military trailer, prime mover, brakes, and lighting. This video will show the simplicity of using the Model 801M test station for trailer inspection and maintenance. The task of testing vehicle brakes and lights is now a one-person operation with a single tool. mechanic can operate and test a variety of vehicles, including trailers and prime movers, to quickly identify and locate vehicle brake and lighting problems. The test station, with all the necessary cables and air hoses, is shipped on one pallet and requires only 30 minutes to set up ready for operation. The tester and test station is secured to the pallet and accessory components are packed in the top shelf. Casters and the handle need to be bolted to the cart. The tester is bolted to the top shelf. The power cable and air tubing are connected and the test station is ready for operation. Instructions are printed on the tester enclosure. A complete operations and service manual is supplied along with laminated quick reference instructions. The test station requires compressed air and 110 volt AC or 220 volt AC power for operation. The mechanic selects the output power of 12 volts or 24 volts with the rocker switch. An on-off switch is located in the power input module which also includes fuses and allows the selection of 110 volts AC or 220 volts AC. The tester is labeled with common terminology and uses the standard air and electrical connections mounted on the vehicle. The tester can operate and test either 12 volt or 24 volt lighting systems. After connecting the vehicle cable, the mechanic is ready to either perform the task with either the tester panel switches or the remote control. The remote control has keys identical to the tester panel. Press and hold a key for response by the tester. Whenever a key is pressed, the indicator lamp on the remote will illuminate, showing a signal is being sent. The operating range of the remote control is 100 feet. Replacement of the 9 volt battery will become necessary as the effective operational range decreases. With the remote control, the mechanic is able to walk around the vehicle to activate the brakes and lights. One light circuit is powered at a time to verify operation and location. The visual observation confirms correct wiring. If more than one tester is being operated in close proximity, the code of the remote control can be changed. The switches on the sender and receiver cards must match positions. Please refer to the manual. Most combat vehicles have air and electrical connections at the front to attach the tester. Thus, the tractor can be exercised just like a trailer with the light check. The tester can read the prime mover electrical output if connected to the prime mover's rear electrical connector. Simply press the tractor key and operate the cab controls to read trailer input. The tester will read the tractor voltage and circuit operation. If a faulty vehicle cable is suspected, press the tractor key and insert both cable ends into the tester for an automatic cable test. The display will read pass or fail. If fail, the display will show vacant blanks indicating an open cable circuit. Caution: You must turn on the tester and press the tractor key before inserting the cable. The display will show a ready message indicating the tester is ready for trailer 12 volt 7 pin operation. Only the top six lighting keys will be used for the 12 volt mode. The display will show a ready message indicating the tester is ready for trailer 24 volt 12 pin operation. There are 10 lighting keys labeled black out to be used for the 24 volt mode. The tester will automatically identify opens, shorts, open grounds and chassis grounds and sound an alarm. With the alarm, the mechanic can work on the circuit and the alarm will quit when the fault is corrected. As a special note, the mechanic must know his vehicle wiring system. 
since not all circuits are used in any one vehicle. Unused circuits will test as an open. The tester supplies regulated air to the emergency and service air systems for a controlled application. After the vehicle air system is fully charged, the air test will display air loss and sound an alarm if the maximum air loss is exceeded. On the tester panel, press tractor and emergency keys to begin the air brake operation. The emergency air pressure is set at 110 pounds per square inch with the air filter regulator mounted on the cart. Pressing the service key will set the service brakes at 90 pounds per square inch regulated inside the tester. After the vehicle air systems have stabilized, press air leak test key. The display will show system pressures and air losses. The alarm will sound if air loss exceeds 2 psi per minute on emergency and 3 psi per minute on service. The display also has a 60 second countdown timer. The air operation is the same with the remote control. With the remote control, the mechanic can cycle the air operation at the axle and observe brake applications. The tester air operation needs to be calibrated whenever the tester is moved to a different altitude. A faulty air loss will indicate calibration is needed. Refer to manual for complete instructions. With the light check, wire damage from probes and unnecessary vehicle component replacements is eliminated.